If you're a developer and you haven't heard about Shad CN UI, then you probably either live under a rock or you're just a developer who actually writes code and ships products while us other developers find new ways to procrastinate and play around and do anything other than code. But it's kind of taken the developer world, at least the UI world, by storm to be able to create quick and fast and beautiful UI without having to do much. It's built on top of giants like Tailwind and Radix and even has ports for Svelte and Vue on top of probably many others that I'm forgetting. But what if you want that style within Laravel and you don't necessarily want to use Inertia? You'd rather just use Blade or just use Livewire. So you're in luck. This is probably one of my most requested videos in the past couple of months because I have been finding the perfect solution for you, the viewer, to use a Shad CNUI like feel within your live wire applications. So here's three UI component libraries that I would say are inspired by Shad CN, have different limitations, have different takes on ways of how to do this, but are using Alpine and Tailwind and some even use Livewire as well. So why don't we take a look at Artisan UI, Pines UI, and then Luvi or Lovey UI. So first up, Pines UI, built by someone that I very much appreciate and also look up to in the Laravel Livewire Alpine world is Tony Leah at Dev Dojo. So Pines UI is incredible and a little bit different of a take than the other two, which is why I want to talk about it first. For example, all of these are just going to be Alpine and Tailwind, but similar to the maybe Tailwind UI approach where you just find the ones you want and then copy the code. So this isn't necessarily a component that you install. If you have Alpine JS and Tailwind installed, you just copy this. So for example, this accordion right here looks absolutely beautiful and code. I can just, I don't even have to look at the code. Actually, I can just say, uh, copy that. And in my code editor, I have a little playground live wire volt component up and ready to go. I'm just going to paste this right in there. Go ahead and save and let's take a look. And then this is how it looks again. This is great for those one off little components that you need on an application. While I love Pines UI, it's not necessarily meant to be a, uh, okay, you just use this and copy this for every single button that you want. Like if I had this button here and then, you know, here's just a classic button that looks like Shad CNUI. I could copy this and maybe I could create my own component saying PHP artisan make component and we'll just call this pines button maybe. There we go. So pines button and then we'll just copy that in here. So if I was to use my x dash pines dash button, then we would still see that here. Again, this is just to show that it's not necessarily the same approach that some of the other ones that we're going to take a look at. I think these styles are phenomenal in the sense that everything that you need is customizable and it's just all tailwind behind the scenes. You can customize all this. So if you want to make your own UI library, maybe changing a couple of different things, it's customizable to the point that there is no customizations because you can just build it yourself. And so I would say this is what I like to use as the, oh, I don't necessarily have this particular UI component. I only need it for one page. Pines UI is perfect for that. Some of the, my favorites that I like within this, there's a text animation one that's perfect for like marketing pages. Uh, if you have a Dev Dojo premium subscription, then there's also like phenomenal marketing pages itself. And this is kind of how the author, Tony Lea, pays for everything just because Dev Dojo puts out Pines UI for free. And so you have things like this that it's if you have a, an account, you'll be able to download pages that look phenomenal, that look great out of the box. So again, Pines UI, I would say, is the perfect component library if you don't necessarily want a full component library. I would say it's probably the most complete out of the ones that we're going to take a look at just because there is so much that Pines offers, but it's not necessarily a, I'm gonna install this as a composer package and now I just have X dash button in my code. 
it's for you to build it yourself in a lot of ways or just take one-offs where you need it. Now, if you wanted something that looks really similar to Pine's UI, but you want those buttons and have them as a component within your Laravel package, then I would take a look at the Genesis starter kit by Dev Dojo, And that's because it's built by the same person who built Pine's UI. And a lot of the style is very similar. And that has some components out of the gate. So if we look at stubs uh, within default, resources, views, components, UI. So we have things like badges, buttons, checkbox, inputs, placeholders, select. Stuff that you would probably need for most applications. Again, it's not necessarily a word for word substitute for Pines UI. It's not Pines UI is this. It's more like it's a similar style as Pines UI, but in component form. I like having components like this, where then if I do need to extract it, if I use it more than one time, two times, then I can have it be a little bit more abstract and I can customize it to the style, to the props that I want to give on each thing, to the things I need to change every single time. So when I'm building out an application and I'm using Pines UI, it's great to be able to start my component library on top of anything else that I'm adding to this to the page. So that's Pines UI. Next up is Lovey UI. And this is one I came to find as I was doing some research on this particular video. This is one that is going to be very similar in how you initiate or add new components to a Shad CN type component library, because it's not necessarily just copy and paste in the same way that Pines UI would be. If we were to go into installation, we can install a composer package. That's Laravel Lovey. And then we can publish individual components by running the tag for the component name. So all of the components are technically installed, but now you can publish each individual one when you need it. And this is very similar to how Shad CN UI works for the other, for the React, Vue, Svelte, for example. One thing to note is you also need to install the anchor and collapse plugin while laravel blade gives you the forms plugin for tailwind out of the box you do have to install the tailwind css animate so why don't we do that and then on our vconfig we need to add this resource css lovey ui and then add it to our vite as well so i have that in my welcome just for simplicity's sake a lot of the icons that they have in the example is this blade loose side icons pack and i'm going to go ahead and install that as well publishing the css assets with vendor publish tag css and then also tailwind if you use other config settings within tailwind you'll want to save those so that you can add those back as you see fit i think this should be good to go though and then the livewire v3 livewire ships with anchor and collapse out of the box and it looks like those are the two we need for lovey anchor and collapse so we should be good to go why don't we go ahead and install something let's go ahead and start with the maybe just a simple accordion so in our code this is what the code looks like why don't we install it There we go. And now I should be able to just copy and paste this. I'm just going to erase everything else I had and copy and paste that. So we have these X dash accordion items and triggers. I did install Laravel breeze before running all of this, which means that there are probably, there might be some components that clash in this case. Um, if I was to install a button, for example, because we have a X dash primary button, so it might not clash, but just something to note if you're using something like breeze to get this up and running. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Looks like we have some Alpine errors. I'm just going to install these plugins just in case. I don't think I need them, but we'll go ahead and see. And then we'll add these to our app.js file. Okay, so it looks like it does need those Alpine plugins, or it's probably because that those components need those plugins. And in that case, when we publish them, perhaps the JS isn't being recognized. And adding that code that can be found in the installation seemed to work for me. Let's add a few more. So why don't we do the menu bar? 
That looks nice. Go ahead and copy this. Uh, first, we'll install it. So install it. And then we'll go ahead and copy this. So we have something to take a look at. And why don't I just go ahead and set this to be flex and set it so it's centered in these screens. So justify center item center. And there we go. There's our menu bar. I don't know, the edit didn't seem to, or it seemed like the file. So there might be some small little things that we could fix, for example. But it's nice to be able to have all this kind of out the gate ready to go, even like nested links right here. And since these are components, it's nice to be able to just find them. So this menu bar, we have this menu bar index, and we can make any changes to it because they are published within our Laravel package. So very nice. I love the style of it. I love how you can install them piece by piece when needed. Uh, of course, I don't think it's necessarily as maybe as complete or as full just yet, but go ahead and take a look for yourself. Give it a star on GitHub and that's Laravel lovey. UI components for Laravel, you can copy and paste into your app. Shad skin UI like built with Blade and Alpine.js, usable with Livewire. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily even need Livewire. It's just with Alpine.js, but you can have them be accessible with Livewire. And then last, let's take a look at Artisan UI. So this is, again, is very similar, I think, in approach to what Lovey is doing in the sense that you need to install each component piece by piece. And maybe you don't actually, now that I think about it. I think you install everything and then just use the component itself. So let's go ahead and install it. And we'll go ahead and add this preset in our Tailwind configuration file. Think we have any presets in here? Nope. Presets. Our CSS file, we need to import the project's CSS. So CSS. We'll import the project CSS in our JS file. We'll import the project JavaScript files. So app.js, and then we can import that here or use the blade directive, but we should be good to go with just this. And now we can test. Let's go to our playground or we'll move everything else. And now we have a X dash a U I colon colon button. So they're using specific, it's not necessarily even components that you might have in your Laravel application. And the good thing about stuff like this is if you wanted to kind of mix and match, you could for all three that we're looking at, you could grab a little bit of Pines UI, add your own components and then have some lovey. And then you have this artisan UI as well. So take a look. Yeah, of course I don't have anything inside of it. So hello there YouTube. Great. Stuff like this I love because it's all flexible when you want to start using things like Livewire or Alpine.js or anything else that you might need to. Okay, maybe we'll have a when maybe we'll have when a wire loading is up, then we can add a spinner to this button. It's stuff like that that I love thinking through when it comes to when it comes to component libraries, specifically ones like this, where you have all the components ready for you. So it looks here, we have this button, we have specific variants that we could have. So a default secondary destructive outline ghost link, and then specific sizes or icons as well. I'll be putting out another video because one of the things that I think separates stuff like this from, from Pines UI to Love UI to Artisan UI, while these are great, I think they're in a different realm than a full component library, something like I often use in my videos, Wire UI, where it's specifically linked to Livewire, where instead of just having the actual UI piece, Anytime there is a loading indicator, then the button has a spinner attached to it. It's stuff like that that you would have to spend a little bit of time on your own to get working within Laravel within Livewire. But those full component libraries then maybe have a little less flexibility than you would have with something like this. So all of these three component libraries that we looked at, UI libraries, uh, between Pines UI, Love UI, and then Artisan UI are all meant to copy the style of something like this, something like Shad CN UI, where it's a little bit more minimalistic, a little bit more 
uh, flat in a lot of ways and just gives you something nice, something pretty out of the box so that you can add your own interaction, your own customization down the road as need be. So hopefully you found something that might work good for you or just a couple new libraries to be able to try out. All of the links will be in the description, whether that's Pines UI, Artisan UI, or Love UI. So build something new with it. Uh, figure out what might work best for you in your projects. Maybe this is a good middle ground between having a full component library, and I'll have a video on some that I like in the future. So this is specifically meant to have that unique design that you are probably looking for if you're just wanting to build something as quick as possible. Pines UI, love a UI, and Artisan UI. Use them and keep creating.